Hey, listen, if you don't want to be happier, please do not subscribe to this channel. But if you're interested in more joy, check out this clip. So I've personally been impacted by Jeremy's work. How uh, I have to say thank you to Archbishop Shapu. Uh, you're going to watch this. Shapu, I'm going I'm <laughs> to forward this to you. Uh, say thank you to Shabby for pouring into Jeremy. Amazing. Yeah, I agree. This is how, this is how, how conversions are made. I mean, people look at, at guys like Archbishop Shapu and think, well, you have a, a big pulpit, you're a really important person, well, therefore the ministry's done. And if it doesn't translate to making time for human beings right. over a cup of coffee, right. humbling yourself, getting down to someone's level, hanging out, talking, yeah. we're just full of hot air, man. Right. You know, this is this is where 100%. where the rubber hits the road. It's like the ninety nine. You know, you leave the ninety nine to go after the one. Yeah. And in a, in a, in a real way, I felt like that one. And that I know he's a busy guy. And here he spent three hours at, at Starbucks, right, yeah. and, and I was busy too. And I kind of came in again with a chip on my shoulder. Right. But through five or six months of <laughs> of yeah. learning the faith from him, it yeah. Was, uh, Jeremy, I the journey back. You know, I, I, don't, I don't. The Lord's obviously not done using you in the church. And a lot of people who either were raised evangelical or went. Uh, to the evangelical church and, and come back mm -hmm. or enter the Catholic church uh, having been raised that way, um, they bring insights that most Catholics don't have. And that insight is sometimes translated to a, a dream that becomes a reality for the church, something the church needs. Mm -hmm. um, what's your dream for the church, man? If you could snap your fingers yeah. and make something from what you learned as an evangelical, make something change. My dream for the church would be that we would have something, because again, the source and summit of our faith is the Eucharist, right? right? But that's for Catholics. That's for people who already kind of understand it inside. and get it, right? Because yeah. we can't love what we don't know. So hopefully we're learning what it is so that we can actually worship it properly, worship God properly and receive it yeah. properly. But but my greatest dream for the church would be to have like a midweek service yeah, dude. that is that is non and again this sounds I don't want it to sound like a bad thing it's 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 a non sacramental place to bring our non believing or non non Catholic friends yeah because trying to bring someone to mass and help them to get it there is a, is a bit of a stretch and so I wish that we had something with radical hospitality that was totally focused on on new people yep. that haven't been to church in years or feel unloved or estranged from the church for whatever reason. And we could welcome them in through, awesome. through something that's kind of like a, a step before Mass. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. In the early church, you didn't know what the Eucharist was until after you're baptized. They kick you out before the liturgy of the Eucharist every, every time. Mm. And then after your baptism, they said, okay, you get to stay, there's more. Wow. <laughs> so cool. for us to now treat that as, as evangelization 101 right. is absolutely getting it wrong. Uh, so I, I love what you just yeah. said. And I love planting dreams out there because people sometimes think, oh, huh. Right. There's someone watching in, in Iowa right now who might start that at church. Because we talk so much about evangelization, but I don't feel like it's fair to ask the church to be so evangelist if they don't have any place to bring people. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's yeah, tough. I, I mean, I, I push small groups real hard because I, I say, you know, the answer is mm -hmm. your house over a beer, and and hit right. play in a video, yeah. and then talk about how that touched your heart. I mean, like there's the there's search. a step. The search is a great place yeah. to start, man. Right. Yeah. Go, by the way, if you haven't seen it, you need to Google the search. Mm -hmm. um, Did you like that clip? Be sure to click subscribe so you never miss out on our great content that's going to help you live life to the full.